Nathaniel the Prospect Wood. Wood is having success with his fists. Oh, and then nice. that beautiful pass. work outside. It's sunk, that looks like he's deep. Really good position here. Yeah. Going into the John Dodson fight, I felt amazing. I had a really good fight camp. My weight cut was probably one of the best I've ever had. I wasn't ill at all during camp. It literally was perfect. Wood in the black, Dodson's in the goal. Going into the fight, I think I overestimated him. Nathaniel Wood is ultra talented. For as good as he is at finding submissions, he's equally as tough on the feet. Nice treat right hand by Nathaniel Wood. Coming out of the first round, I, I I sort of thought to myself, is that it? This this guy is like one of the best in the division and has been for many years. Position. Well, I feel that I was the better fighter. The trip there from Wood and he gets his fight to the mat. I felt that I was the stronger fighter. I felt I was in better shape. Even when we was up against the fence, I could hear him, you know, really breathing heavily. And I remember thinking to myself, hey, this is your hometown, right? I'm fighting at high altitude here. I don't feel that I'd gone in there and was dominated by a guy who was way, way more experienced than me. Total strikes, significant strikes, and the only takedown of the fight to the fighter from England, Nathaniel Wood, in that first five minutes. But come, come the second round, when I uh, got that head clash and the, the cut above my eye. It looks like that cut is in a bad spot on Nathaniel Wood. Yeah, those are the ones that kind of leak into your eye if you're not careful. I generally was thinking in my head that they're going to stop this fight if I can't finish it. But it is a much worse cut than we thought initially. You know, I came out like a bat out of hell. And, you know, for a split second, I kind of let my guard down and got caught. Oh, he's he jumped on me and was throwing those little rabbit punches which were doing absolutely zero damage. I don't even know if any of them landed, but I guess they look bad to the ref. You know, I can promise you I was fine. And as soon as I got up, I remember just saying to the ref, like, man, come on. I've won fights and come away with more head damage than I did in that loss. That night was John Dodson's, but I'll come back a better fighter from it. You know, back in the past when I was younger, I've lost fights and I think the world's ending and I'm in tears and, you know, I'm depressed for weeks on end. But I have a new kind of uh, way that I look at life. I actually suffered with bad anxiety and depression a few years ago. I have bad OCD as well, so, you know, if I have like a, a worry or a thought that I just, you know, when I'm trying to get out of my head, I end up just thinking over it and over it even more. So that, you know, never helps. I think that's what kind of put me into a bit of a, you know, depressed state. I had a really bad stage for about, I'd say six months to a year. And being in a really bad stage like that made me realize that all the things that I think were really bad really aren't. I lost to Dodson, but I came away with a nice check in my bank. You know, I come away, I've still got my fiance, I've got my family, I've got about 100 messages coming through of people saying, you know, we still love you. And that's what's important in life. You know, you only live once, so why should I mope around? Now I just look at it as, it happens, you know? And that's the way I try and look at it now, you know, I try and look at being a lot more mature in the sport. <laughs> If I can come out of lockdown and with a few more skills in my arsenal than I had before, then I'll be a better fighter than I was before. I've got the weights in the garden. If I can hit some PBs on that, amazing. If I can hit some PBs on my runs, even better. My dad is one of my striking coaches as well. I'm able to get pads and sessions in with him. 
he pays a lot more attention to detail. I know that I'm going up against the best fighters on the planet, and we're all very close in regards to skill set. I have to just train that little bit harder to have that advantage. There's these rumours about the fight island. If that opportunity comes up, then 100%, you know, I'll take that with both hands. I'm just waiting for that call, really, from the UFC. It's a very, very small gap in skill set when you get to the top. Henry Cejudo, I feel that I'm just as capable of knocking him out as anyone else in that UFC bantamweight division. I'll fight anyone the UFC give me. If I can just perform, and get to showcase my skills in front of a, uh, an audience again, then, you know, that's all I need. Mean. 100% I think MMA is going to be one of the biggest sports in the world, if it isn't already. You know, in the UK, I really do think within the next couple of years, it's going to take off like you wouldn't believe. A lot of people out there might think it's barbaric. It's really not, you know, it's two martial artists who are trying to prove who the best martial artist is. I do believe that within, you know, maybe a five-year period that, you know, they'll be putting UFC events on at Wembley.